and Stephen Smith. Not the start you'd be looking for, Cam. No, not at all. Our race favourite there. Sounded like a clutch issue, Dave. No issues through St Ninians and down Bray Hill. Dean Osborne away. No issues for him either. So here, oh, just sits up a little bit, Stephen Smith. I just wonder if that clutch issue is on his mind. Yeah, well, it'd have to be. He'd, be. he'd be frustrated knowing that it's cost him valuable seconds off the start. He's already on the back foot, but he is the hot favourite into this race. I'm sure he'll have his head down now and just be focusing on what's ahead. Just saw Dan Ingham going through, uh, followed by Dean Osborne through Quarter Bridge. We're riding with Stephen Smith. Sounds OK. Yeah, it sounds fine now. So here comes Stephen Smith. This race, of course, it's Super Sport Machines this year, 600s. They used to be 750s. That's right, Dave. 600 inline four-cylinder up to 750cc twin-cylinder machines. About 170 kilograms and producing between 120, 135 horsepower. High-performance race bikes. Talking of high performance, coming through Victor Lopez already passing Dean Osborne. Yeah, Victor's been impressive in practice and he looks like he's going very well in this race. We're well, riding with Dan Ingham, fourth fastest in qualifying. So Jamie Williams there, looking for a little bit of good fortune today, it must be said. All these riders will be pushing so hard in this first sector, they don't want to lose any time. Well, the... Ooh, wow, that was <laughs> close, foot off the peg, brushing the curb. Well, Stephen Smith is certainly trying to make up that time that he lost off the start. Hopefully he doesn't push too hard. And here is our new race leader, Stephen Smith. Three tenths of a second ahead of Williams is now second, McConaughey is third. This is the situation as they hit the bungalow. Smith leading at Ramsey. He's extended that lead to 2.88 seconds over Williams. Three riders in the quarter bridge. 48 is Tom Snow. On the back of that trio, Jack Fowler started 52nd and he's just made his way up inside to the top 10. That man is on a move. Well, here is our race leader. Stephen Smith, end of lap one, 13.7 seconds ahead of Williams. McConaughey is third, Ingham fourth, and that's who we're riding with now. But here is Williams, the man in second. Jamie will be super fired up, Dave. Now, don't forget, he was leading the junior Manx when a mechanical issue pulled him out of that race, missing out a potential win, so he'll want to make amends in the senior. Yeah, he's losing time, though, to Smith. Here comes Smith. Tucking that lanky frame in behind the screen on the Kawasaki. They're on board with the man in fourth place. This is Dan Ingham, a second behind McConaughey, two seconds ahead of Cook. Oh, Victor Lopez, smooth as silk on that Yamaha R6. We're riding on board with David McConaughey. Oh. Ooh. Shut the throttle as he's come over the crest. All the weights transferred forward. Big wobble did well to grab it. Well, this man has now got a half a minute lead. Stephen Smith as he comes in for his pits. Dave, they're still having an issue there. It sounds like the clutch again. I'm not sure it doesn't affect him on track, but... It could affect him pulling away now. We're on board with Dan Ingham coming in for his pit stop. Second on the road. Fourth on the leaderboard. There was no sign of it there, but there definitely is an issue. Hopefully it holds together for the next two laps. Victor Lopez rolls in. He's around 14 seconds down on McConaughey. Cook is now third. So McConaughey's gone from third to fifth. Dan Ingham still in fourth. But again, pit stops, seconds can be lost. Races can be won or lost in here. Absolutely. The rider's got to get back out on course get their mind back onto that next section of, of road ahead of them and just put the head down and get back into the rhythm as quickly as possible. And that's exactly what Stephen Smith is doing now. The so Lopez is on his way. So Dan Ingham on lap three of four, still holding. It's still very tight in the top six. We're now with McConaughey, who's looking to make up that time that he lost. Out of Crane, Stephen Smith. His lead at the end of lap two, 37.6 seconds over Williams, who's 5.7 seconds ahead of Ingham. So Ingham is up into third now. Cook was third at the bungalow. He's now gone back to fourth, but he's only half a second behind Ingham. Wow. OK, Smith is pulling away out front, but there is a battle royale going on for second. 
have a look. You can see the edge of the tyre feathered there. It's working. That fantastic rear-facing camera shows how hard that treaded race tyre is working. These super sport machines are adding a treaded tyre in a very soft, high-performance compound. And Jamie Williams. Can he attempt to try and claw back Stephen Smith? But Stephen Smith is just lapping quicker than everyone else. Stephen Smith for the third time into Parliament Square at Ramsey. Yeah, bike sounds good there. Let's hope this little recurring issue doesn't cost him any time. He's still maintaining half a minute over this man, Jamie Williams. Looking over the bungalow. Conditions look absolutely fantastic up across this mountain section. Yeah, definitely improving as the day goes on. We're riding with Danning and going through the bungalow. Oh, over the white line using all the road and then some. So Smith crosses the line. But it is still tight. Williams is in second. But Ingham, McConaughey, Lopez and Cook is back in sixth place. Now apparently Mark Colvin had a crash. This is a replay from his onboard footage. Coming up out of Ramsey, climbing up through to Guthrie's Memorial. Looking back, everything seems fine there. Just a little bit close perhaps, but out of Guthrie's. Look, oh, and down just too far over. Thankfully, Mark is fine. So here he is, into Ramsey, Parliament Square. Again, that rear-facing camera. Look at that rear tyre. It's really worn on lap four of four. It'll be starting to slide on the exit of the corners. It's something all these racers will have to contend with. Smith continuing to maintain that 42-second lead. At Ramsey, Smith leads 41.2 seconds over Dan Ingham, who's in second. Williams back in third, but only by two tenths. It's a battle, a big, big battle for second. Andy Williams looking super smooth on that CBR Honda. Stephen Smith out really wide, makes it a nice arc on his way into the nook. There's another replay. This is on board with Sean Evans. Been around towards Windy Corner. Oh, right out over the... My goodness me! Oh, how did he save that? Remarkable. And Stephen Smith will win the Senior Manx Grand Prix. So Jamie Williams has to settle for third in the end, just behind Dan Ingham. Stephen Smith is the winner, but what a race that was.